hello 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 everyone welcome back again to another episode on my channel if you see my face for the very first time you're welcome to my youtube channel if you want to know what i do on this channel i give reviews on different skincare products i also give tips on how you can take care of your skin <music> so many mistakes that we make all in the name of skincare so this video is not going to be too long and secondly i'm not going to be speaking plenty grammar because i need we need to discuss this in such a way that you know people understand let's talk about skincare products that are very popular that a lot of us use which is actually not good for prolonged use not that they are bad some of them are not bad but they are actually not good for a prolonged use like you're supposed to use this product for a short period of time or maybe it's just treat something on your skin and then you go ahead to use that product for a long time it will definitely have side effects and you're definitely going to experience that side effect let me start with crusader soap this soap right here is a very popular soap that even some of our mothers used it before they gave birth to us like this soap has been in the market for a very long time and people still use this soap but i want to clear you guys on something do you know that no matter how effective this soap is in lightening up your skin it contains mercury which is very very harmful to your skin when you use for a very prolonged period of time if you don't know what mercury is mercury is a skincare ingredient that lightens up the skin that is used in you know skincare products that but this ingredient has side effects which can lead to um skin cancer it can contribute to so many negative things happening to your skin but a lot of us still use it why because it's making them fair or it's clearing pimples on their body or on their face so because of that they cannot stop it they are addicted to this body soap please note today that this soap contains mercury and prolonged use of it might actually cause a very big damage to your health the next one i want to talk about is the smooth as silk soap this soap has become so popular that you can barely see someone that is not using it like i feel like i'm the only one that have not used this body soap but you know that this soap contains mercury a lot of women are using it even when i go to cosmetic store i see people buying this soap and if i see their face if you see their face their face is looking all burnt with redness and sunburn and everything but they use the soap because it is very effective in clearing dark spots pimples and brightening up the skin because of that some people are so addicted to it even when you keep telling them oh this soap contains mercury they do not even want to listen i'm not saying you should stop using this product i'm only saying that prolonged use of this product can actually affect your health so you might just want to use it for a short period to achieve what you want to achieve and stop it but some people have made it your life soap you've sworn that you use this soap see whenever you buy and you won't stop so just letting you know that this soap contains mercury next one is carol white carol white has become a regular body lotion that everybody uses. to me i actually do not have any issue with carol white i have issue with the fact that it contains hydroquinone above the regularized percentage okay that's the issue i have with it but this body lotion always gets sold out in the market so many people keep using it i have somebody that sells cosmetic and this is one of his best selling body lotions and every day people still talk about skin cancer you even see this product with pictures of people that their skin is disfigured because of cream still people buy it even knowing full well that this body lotion can harm their health so why do we do that is a mistake in skincare even when you know the effects of a particular product you are using because you are getting a very good result from it you keep on using it so just letting you know that this product contains hydroquinone not in in the irregularized percentage but above that so you can actually go and browse hydroquinone and the side effects on your skin so the next one i want to talk about is shelly face cream so do you all know that 90 percent of shelly face cream contains mercury if you don't know what shelly face cream is shelly face cream are the likes of pali goldie anisa gold face cream 
um they are so many of it but if there is a cream you are using a face cream that you're using that has that texture it's a shelly face cream and 90 percent of them contains mercury i am not saying that these ones i mentioned contain mercury but i'm just letting you know that 90 percent of shelly face creams contain mercury though not all okay so if you are using them please do well to research and know the ingredients even though one thing that most of these skincare um, formulators do is that they do not include all the ingredients they use in producing or formulating that particular product in their ingredients list which is very wrong at least you know the ingredients or what um ingredients a particular skincare product you are using contains it will help you to know if you are to use that product if it's going to because some people react differently to different ingredients in a skincare product but most of them do not have even ingredients that they use listed among the ingredients so that's where the issue comes in last but not the least that I actually want to hammer on i think i've actually made a video about this particular product before is uh, from back to a from back to a is a very good anti-fungal antibacterial cream it works so fast if you have bumps if you have dark and it works for skin reaction rashes and all of that it has so many things that it works on some of you have made it a norm that you will use this tube as your body lotion some of you even go as far as using it on your babies as your baby's body lotion i know so many people that their baby's body lotion is from back to a that contains steroids you're using it as your baby's body lotion come on we can do better this from back to a i use it i use from back to a i even have it right now but I don't use it as my body cream. I don't use it as my face cream. I don't use it for a prolonged period of time. I use it for a particular problem. I use it for treatment. Let's say after shaving my armpit right now, I have bumps. I apply it on my armpit. Not regularly, just for that period of time. But some of us have turned it to our body lotion, our face cream, our some people if they are if they are actually if they've not mixed from back to A in their body lotion, they've not started their skincare routine. Like, who taught you that? Who taught you that from back to A is your regular? I think I made a video where I told you people to stop using from back to A as your face cream. One thing about from back to A is that it is it's not just from back to A. Like, all these anti fungal antibacteria, there's so many only bats and the rest of them. This is what I'm talking about. Not just from back to A. These, these tubes are treatments products what i wanted to discuss on today's video like i told is not a review it's just about telling you people skincare mistakes that we make or some products that you use that you might not know contains chemicals in it that will be all about today's video if you enjoyed this video please give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and drop your comments if you want me to make review on any other skincare products please let me know and i'll definitely do that and see you all in my next video bye